In today's lecture, we will discuss about polynomial representation using a linked list. We have already seen polynomial representation using arrays. This one will be using singly linked list. So the advantages of linked lists over arrays are arrays actually requires contiguous storage locations. So storage is contiguous, continuous means insertion and deletion operations will be costly. So in the case of inserting an element in an array, all the elements after that which you are inserting will be shifted down to make room for new elements. And in the case of deletion, you will have to shift the elements upward. That are the disadvantages due to this contiguous memory location requirement. In a linked list, no need of shifting the elements during insertion or deletion. You just need to change the pointers. That is, you are not going to utilize the contiguous memory locations. Whenever you require to store a particular element, you create that much amount of memory or you allocate that much amount of memory and you will uh, attach a pointer to that particular memory memory element and that is how uh, you are going to keep a list of elements so there is no need of shifting of elements during insertion and deletion so as i've told uh, the insertion and deletion in case of an array is an order of n operation but in case of a linked list is it is an order of one or a constant time operation and that is going to be the main advantage over of linked list over arrays so let's see how we can represent polynomial using linked list the main advantage is that it can accommodate polynomials of growing sizes so that their combined size does not exceed the total memory available so your uh, limitation of uh, size will be the size of the memory itself for example consider a polynomial p of x equal to a n x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x n minus 1 plus etc a 1 x plus a 0 Let's see how this can be implemented or how this can be represented in a linked list. So in a linked list, each term in a polynomial, we represent it as a node. This is the structure of the node. In a node, we'll be having three elements, one, two data elements and one link element. Two data elements are a coefficient and exponent, and a link is for pointing to the next node. So a n x raised to n will be represented as uh, a node like this. A n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 will be represented as another node. And the link part of a n x raised to n will be pointing to a n minus 1 x, my x raised to n minus 1. <coughs> So that is how it is being implemented. So each term in the polynomial will be represented as a single node in a polyno sorry linked list representation. So the number of nodes will be equal to the number of terms. And each term, sorry, each node will be having two data elements and one link, two data part and one link part. Number of, number of nodes in a polynomial is the same as number of terms in that polynomial. 
An additional header node is also used. The additional header node is an entry which is showing the first node in the link list. That's it. For example, this polynomial 3x raised to 8 minus 7 x raised to 6 plus 14x cubed plus 10x minus 5 will be represented as a link list like this. You will be having a head pointer which is pointing to the first node. Then the first term representing exponent, sorry, coefficient and 8 as exponent and you have a link which is pointing to the next node. In the second node, minus 7 is the coefficient, 6 is the exponent, and the link field is pointing to the third node. Then 14 is the coefficient, 3 is the exponent, and link part is pointing to the fourth node. 10 is the coefficient, x raised to 1, so 1 is the exponent, and the link part is pointing to the next node. And the last node is coefficient is minus 5. And exponent part is x raised to 0, so it is 0. And there is no node after this, or there is no term after this. This is the last term to indicate that the pointer of or the link part of that is pointing to null. <coughs> so you can represent a polynomial very easily like this using a linked list. It's a very uh, simple representation as the number of polynomial terms is the same as the number of linked list nodes. Each node will be corresponding to a single term in the polynomial. And an additional node is a header node which is pointing to the first node or it is an entry which gives you an uh, which gives you a starting point of the link list different operations on uh, polynomial polynomial addition and polynomial multiplication we will see polynomial addition today consider two polynomials p and q let's see how we can uh, create a new polynomial r by just adding p plus p plus q here in our algorithm we are going to use two pointers uh, p pointer and q pointer and uh, we will see that uh, there are uh, three different cases and each of the case we will analyze separately the polynomial addition So here we are going to use three, uh, two pointers, P pointer and Q pointer and uh, we will take one more pointer which is R pointer, R P T R. And this is the first case. So we have uh, two pointers. Uh, we have two polynomials represented in, as two linked list. And the first uh, polynomial P is represented by using uh, a linked list P, P, T, R. And the second uh, polynomial Q is represented using a linked list Q, P, T, R. A linked list in the sense it is just a pointer to the first node. And we'll be incrementing this pointer to uh, traverse through each of the terms in the linked list. And we take a new pointer RPTR which is uh, for creating our resultant polynomial by adding P and Q. So the first case is uh, we check each of the polynomials uh, first terms that is the term that is pointed by P, P, T, R and Q, P, T, R. And we see that the exponents of these two terms are equal. That is, uh, we compare P, P, T, R uh, exponent and 
qptr exponent if these two uh, exponents are equal so that means that uh, you need to uh, combine these two terms into a single node so that is uh, coefficients in the two nodes are added to form the new term if the exponents are equal the coefficients of the two nodes nodes are added to form the new node or new term so rptr dot coefficient equal to pptr dot coefficient plus qptr dot coefficient so you create a new node and in that node the coefficient part should be pptr dot coefficient plus qptr dot coefficient and the exponent can be because both the exponents are same pptr dot exponent and qptr dot exponent are same so rptr dot exponent is any one can be used for example rptr dot exponent equal to pptr dot exponent and that is the case one Now the second case, if pptr exponent is greater than qptr exponent, that is the exponent of the current term in p is greater than the exponent of the current term in q. So currently pptr is pointing to one, uh, one particular term in uh, polynomial p and qptr is pointing to another term, another uh, term in q. Now we check uh, the exponent part of each of these and if the first case is false that is p exponent both the exponents are different then so the second case we check whether it is uh, pptr's exponent is greater than qptr's exponent so pptr exponent is greater means you need to create a duplicate copy of the pptr exponent that particular node that is the node which is pointed by pptr to rptr so here a duplicate of the current term p is created and inserted in the polynomial r in the same way if pptr dot exponent is less than qptr dot exponent then the current term in q is greater than p so a duplicate of the current term in Q is created and that is inserted in the polynomial R. That's it. So these are the three cases. First case, if uh, both the exponents are point, both the exponents of the terms pointed by PPTR and QPTR are same, then what we do is we combine these two to form a new term. If any one is greater, if anyone's point uh, exponent part is greater, then that particular term is uh, a duplicate copy of that particular term is uh, created and that will be uh, uh, inserted onto the polynomial R or the resultant polynomial. Okay, now let's see our, the algorithm. The same thing in the form of uh, the same thing what we have discussed in the form of an algorithm. So we uh, write a function polynomial add into that function uh, we pass the head pointer of the polynomial p the head pointer of the polynomial q and the head pointer of the polynomial r initially our head will be null because uh, we are going to create that polynomial we take uh, new pointers that is pptr equal to p head and qptr equal to q head and rptr equal to r head r head is actually null while uh, the end of the first polynomial and the end of the second polynomial If both the polynomials are null, then you come out of the loop. Otherwise, this is your first case. The pointer 
P P T R is pointing to the first node of the polynomial P right now. So P P T R dot exponent will give you the <coughs> value in the exponent part of the first node. Q P T R dot exponent, the first node's exponent again in polynomial Q. If these two are equal. We have uh, we have already seen that if these two exponents are equal, we need to create a new node, and into that node we need to add or we need to uh, combine these two uh, nodes in the polynomial p and q to create a new node. So you take a new node, temp get new node. This function you need to write that is to allocate uh, enough amount of memory for storing a polynomial uh, node. And uh, you allocate uh, this memory. Once you get temp, you uh, assign temp rptr pointer link equal to temp. So rptr uh, is already pointing to null. You set rptr to point to temp and uh, then rptr equal to temp <coughs> so currently rptr is pointing to temp now rptr dot coefficient equal to the sum of both the coefficients that is uh, you need to combine these two terms uh, the pointed by tptr and qptr then rptr dot exponent equal to any one pptr dot exponent or qptr dot exponent so it correctly uh, created a new node temp that is allocated memory then you attach that to rptr that is by setting uh, uh, rptr dot link equal to temp so you attach to rptr as, uh, as the next node in the rptr um, polynomial then you set it as rptr itself equal to temp so that it is available in the uh, for what you call rptr is now available to you to update the values there that is you can update the coefficient value and the exponent part coefficient is updated as coefficients uh, sum of the coefficients of both the nodes pointed by pptr and qptr and exponent part is also updated exponent part is uh, any one of the pptr or ex uh, exponent or uh, actually these two are same so anyone can uh, do it now you set it as rptr dot link equal to null so that uh, to say that it is the last node in the rptr so uh, at the end of this while loop you will reach uh, uh, rptr to the end of the list and you have already uh, the a pointer which is pointing to the uh, head of the, the resultant polynomial that is r head so you need to uh, uh, rptr is a pointer which is traversing through the list so you need to keep the first node as a separate thing so that uh, you will get it as r head anyway um, once you have a considered uh, two nodes that is uh, first node in uh, pptr and say first node in qptr you need to increment the pointers incrementing the pointers in the sense you need to just traverse to the next node that is why this statement pptr equal to pptr dot link and qptr equal to qptr dot link so you need to increment both the list both the list in the sense you need to increment the polynomial q and increment the polynomial p so you need to traverse to the next node so first node of uh, we have been considering the first nodes of p and first node of q and we see that these two nodes uh, exponent parts are equal 
we have uh, consumed both this and uh, we have created a new node by combining these two nodes and we have added or inserted this node onto the resultant polynomial once we do that we need to traverse through the traverse to the second node in both the polynomials so that is how we increment both p and q the next two cases we will be incrementing only one of the pointer whichever polynomial is considered that polynomial only will be incremented so the second case p p t r exponent is greater than q p t r exponent here also we will create a new node temp and we will attach that node to the end of the r p t r list <coughs> end of the rptr list and we will <coughs> update the rptr or the temp uh, node like this rptr dot coefficient equal to pptr dot coefficient and rptr dot exponent equal to pptr dot exponent because we are only considering the polynomial p right now because its exponent is greater and uh, we are considering only that term and a duplicate copy of that particular node is created that is uh, its coefficient is copied and its exponent is copied so a duplicate node is created from pptr <coughs> and then uh, we will increment only the polynomial P, pptr pointer link so that in the next iteration of the while loop we will be considering the next term in polynomial p and the current term in polynomial q okay so the second case where uh, polynomial p's exponent is greater than polynomial q's exponent in that case we will create a temporary node a temp node and will copy the exponent part and the coefficient part from the polynomial p's node to the temp and will attach that temp to resultant polynomial once we do that, we will increment polynomial P so that we will be considering the next term in the next iteration. This is the third case where the polynomial Q's exponent part is greater. In that case, we will create a new node and we will copy the contents of uh, polynomial Q that is uh, rptr dot coefficient equal to qptr dot coefficient and rptr dot exponent equal to qptr pointer exponent then we'll increment qptr pointer link or, or only qptr or polynomial q is considered here so a duplicate copy of the uh, that particular node will be created and that will be uh, entered into the resultant polynomial and will increment polynomial q so this while loop will be continued till any one of the polynomial p or q is getting exhausted after comparing each term like this if any one of these uh, terms are exhausted then that means that uh, whatever is left in the other polynomial that entire part need to be copied to the resultant polynomial that is being written here to add the remaining terms of p into r so while p ptr is not equal to null the meaning is that uh, in the previous while loop the polynomial q has been exhausted so pptr not equal to null then you take each of the node uh, sorry each of the terms in the polynomial p and copy into the resultant polynomial till you get a null pointer so all the remaining uh, terms will be copied if it was uh, if the first polynomial to get exhausted was p then uh, this while loop will execute and the qptr is not equal to null till then you copy all the nodes to the resultant polynomial by incrementing the pointer qptr at each iteration 
so in the first case uh, uh, if both the exponents are equal then we'll be combining both the nodes and we'll add th that node to the resultant polynomial if any one of the terms exponent is greater then that node will be uh, duplicated and that will be added on to the resultant polynomial once any one is any one list is exhausted the other entire uh, list will be added uh, on to the resultant polynomial that is how it is being done Yeah, for example, let's see, uh, p is equal to 3x raised to 4 plus 2x square plus 4x plus 8. This is how it will be uh, created as a linked list in memory. So you have p head, which is pointing to the first node in p. Q is pointed, uh, Q is created like this, 5x raised to 4 plus 7x raised to 3 plus 4x square. So let's say you have created a P PPR and attached here. You have created a Q PPR and attached here. You have created an R PPR and you kept it as null. And you have one more R head. So first we'll be checking uh, the exponent part of each of these terms qptr dot uh, sorry exponent and rptr dot q sorry pptr dot exponent and qptr dot exponent. <coughs> the first step you see that these two are equal, so you combine these two exponent three and five. You create a new node temp. Uh, with the same structure that is it should have an exponent part uh, then uh, coefficient part and a link part so the exponent is combined uh, you combine these two 5 plus 3 equal to 8 and uh, sorry coefficient is 5 plus 3 and exponent is 4 uh, exponent is just 4 and you attach that to that node to <coughs> r so it will be x ra 8 x raised to 4 now both the pointers moved here. This pointer, P pointer, moved to the second node. Q pointer also moved to second node. Now you check the exponent part. Q pointer exponent is greater, so you need to come uh, create a copy of this and attach to this. So you will be creating seven x raised to three or uh, this particular node to R. Then you increment only this node that is the uh, q pointer so q pointer is here at this third node here and p ptr is at the second node now you uh, see that these two uh, exponents are equal so you combine these two coefficients so 4 plus 2 6 and x square now you uh, increment both the pointers that is the q ptr is now pointing to null it is exhausted and PPTR is pointing to the third node here. So at this point of time, you will come out of the first while loop. And uh, you see that QPTR has been ex exhausted. It has uh, PPTR, that is the pointer P, uh, sorry, polynomial P has some more elements to be added onto the resultant polynomial. So it will create a copy of the first, uh, th this third node, 4x added create a copy of this 8 <coughs> x raised to 0 that also will be added then this list also exhausted <coughs> so that is how the addition of two polynomials is being done using linked list Okay, so uh, if we have polynomials with uh, more than one variable, like polynomials with two variables, for example, uh, two polynomials of this fashion, 4x square y minus 3x square minus 2y, and uh, q is equal to another polynomial, 2x square y minus 3x square plus 8xy plus 4. Then the usual procedure to add is 
uh, you take the first term here this one is 4x square y and you search for any x square y term here yeah there is a 2x square y in the second and you add these two so 4 plus 2 6 x square y so the the process is same but uh, the complexity of the process is a bit uh, more that said then uh, you take the second term in p that is minus 3x square and this is minus 3x square so you add these two terms then you have uh, minus 2y Uh, that term is not there, so you add this minus 2y here, then uh, plus 8xy, that term is not there, so you add here, plus 4, 4 is also, uh, that uh, x, raise, x raised to 0, y raised to 0 term is not there, so you add that also. So that is how it is being added. Uh, to implement that uh, as a linked list, as a program, you need to create a node with these four elements uh, you should have a coefficient value in this case a coefficient uh, equal to four and uh, uh, x x exponent uh, x exponent is x square and that is two here and uh, you, you should have a y exponent also y exponent is one here uh, in the first term i'm telling and uh, you should have a link part also link part for uh, for uh, linking your term to the next next node so you will have uh, the in the first node you will have uh, 4 2 1 and a link to the next node the second node you will have 3 2 0 and a link to the next node and so on here for the sake of uh, impl simple making it simple you should restrict your uh, polynomial terms in such a way that the all the <coughs> all the <coughs> larger x exponent values should come first then the corresponding x exponent and uh, if you restrict it in such a way that uh, if there is for x square y square uh, x square y square term then this should come it should come before this then uh, if there is uh, uh, or, uh, this order that is x square y square then uh, x square y then x square like that then if you restrict that like that then the addition of uh, these two polynomials can be done in the very similar fashion as we have discussed uh, in the case of single variables <coughs> that is uh, uh, you uh, check the x exponent first if x exponent of both the pol uh, polynomials that is p and uh, uh, Q are same for example in this case x exponent is 2 here and here also it is 2 uh, then you check y exponent also so if x exponents are equal then you check y exponent also if y exponents are also equal then you can combine these two terms to uh, form a new uh, node that is you add these two for example in this case x exponent is 2 y exponent is 1 so you add the both the coefficients that is 4 plus 2 the resultant in the resultant polynomial you will get it as 6 x square y in the for example uh, if this was 4 x square y square then x exponents are equal and inside that uh, if statement you should check this also the corresponding y exponent if x exponents are equal and y exponents are equal then you combine if x exponents are equal and y exponent is greater <coughs> for p then that node to be copied if y exponent is greater for q then that node to be copied so once again the procedure is same that is you will be combining the both the terms if x exponents are y exponents are equal 
otherwise you will be taking any one of p or any one term from p or q corresponding to that you will be uh, getting it if x exponent itself is greater then uh, there is no need to check. for example you have reached this 8xy and uh, this 2y then we will say that here x exponent itself is greater then you can directly take it to this resultant polynomial so that implementation has a restriction that uh, you should uh, write your polynomial in such a way that all x, x uh, exponent should be uh, initially uh, written then that is uh, uh, for example uh, x y square should come first before x y square should come before uh, uh, y square that is uh, that sort of an idea you, you can you uh, i think you are you got the idea so all x uh, x exponent uh, large x exponent should come first before uh, for example if this was 3 x square and this was 2 y square uh, and uh, then it should come in this order that is uh, 3x square should come first then then 2y square if it is on the other way that is uh, if you are allowed to write your exponents in any any order any uh, your terms in any order then also you can do it but uh, it will be a bit costly operation that is uh, you take one term uh, that is how we uh, we used to do it uh, manually the addition of two polynomials manually you take the first term in p and you traverse through the entire list q and if you see that any term here is same as any uh, if any of the term here is same as uh, this that is uh, having the same uh, x exponent and y exponent then you add the corresponding elements like that uh, you will have to move through the entire list and whenever you have uh, considered any particular uh, element from q uh, any particular node from q that node to be deleted from q as well so that at the end of uh, this expression uh, sorry at the end of the polynomial p you can see that uh, if uh, q is having any more elements left in the polynomial or the link list then you can add that also to the resultant polynomial <coughs> so that's how it is being done with the, uh, with two variables so next is a class assignment uh, you need to upload this assignment uh, by today evening so you need to write a simple program for reversing a link list so you are given with a link list assume that you are given with a link list you have to write write a function to reverse a link list that is the last node should come or it should become the first node and the second last node should become the second last uh, second node and so on the first node in the uh, original list should be your last node. that is all the links in your uh, link list should be reversed so you write a function or maybe uh, you can write a recursive function or any or uh, iterative function whatever you write a function and uh, upload your uh, assignment today itself thank you